What's up, guys? I can't seem to stop bebopping around, so I apologize. I'm gonna paint some stuff. I'm gonna start with just a regular one of, one of these. Maybe one of these. Just, just another one like that. Something else. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna use pink as a background. I hope that it's fun. Let's get started. Okay. All right, something else. All right, Dale. Do, 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 do. I can't see the chat, and that's a problem. Maybe just nobody's chatting. That's probably it. Dun, 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 dun. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna do a little bit more of this thing. And I'm paying some pretty sweet letters today. That's my hope anyway. Okay. Doink. Hi. Hi, twins. Glad to see you today. Oh, that's gonna be a goofy A. What's up, Jason Shepard? Nay, a little lady. Hi, little lady. Good morning from India. And you too, twins. I've been doing so much website work, and that's all I've been doing. That, like, I just need to take a break from that and come out here and paint something. So here I am. What's the difference in needle sizes? Um... I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what needle size this is. I'm pretty sure it's a 0.35 millimeter. Um, different airbrush brands have like different names for their needles. Like Pache's say that they're 1, 3, and 5's. Um, get something in the middle and it'll be fine for everything, you know? Um, needle and tip sizes come as a pair. You need them. Um, they, they, you have to buy the matching needle and tip and air cap. It all usually comes as a set. Pretty soon I'm gonna come out with my my first solo. A single, a single, a track. Just me with an airbrush. Oof. I'm doing great, big Eric53 underscore YT. I'm doing great. Having a good day. I need to first of all do the do the thing. I'm gonna do the letter. The, the what am I saying? The shady. I'm gonna try to do a little more 3D effects when I have the time to. I'm just painting for fun. So here we go. I 
I like the one with the grate. Yeah, this one's cool. I did this one last stream. It's actually the thumbnail of the last one and this one. The thumbnail of this live stream will change after this live stream. And when I have a new content to put as the thumbnail. Are you back on track? You've been gone. I'm not back on track. Um, I don't have a track. My life looks different all the time. Um, right now, I'm in a season of doing website work, web development work, um, business work, which usually is the case in the winter. In the winters, I usually spend a good portion of my time just working on the computer. Um, the business does not run itself and believe it or not just because i'm a relatively good artist now that doesn't bring in orders you have to do like search engine optimization work and you have to work on your website and look at stuff and do nerdy computer stuff in order to have a successful business uh, so i'm doing that right now and i'm working on some integrations with some other airbrush artists being able to work together outsource some orders to them so that i can focus on the fun stuff that i like to paint like this and they can paint the uh, bomb, like palm trees and stuff, you know. Um, so I will start with that. I'm gonna start pushing airbrushcustoms.net again. There's a link in the description to it. That's my website. Right now, I paint everything on that website. I always have. That's been my business since 2011. Um, but I've been quiet about it relatively since being on YouTube because. Um, Every time you place an order on that website, I have to paint it. And at the very moment, I've got so much other stuff going on that I get a nice big order. And part of me is like, woohoo, a big order. And the other part is, oh crap, I'm going to be busy for a week. Um, and I need to use that time in other places. So I didn't want to tell everybody about that website so much because I, I just can't handle the business right now. Uh, working with these other artists is going to be the solution to that so that... I can paint the graffiti stuff again, and then other artists can paint the other stuff. They're great artists, they've been painting for 20, 30 years, they're professionals, they've done this all their life, and there's potentially many of them, starting out with two that I've met, that I know personally, the people that I've met, uh, visited when I went to Florida, um, great guys, happy to work with them. Uh, but all that to say, I've been wearing my business web developer hat lately, and I'm having a hard time finding the time to paint. And luckily, I put a notice on the website so that no one is ordering right now. You got the heat press, Pablo? That's awesome. I want to see your work. I'm running out of paint. I'm just trying to... I don't want to fill up the paint right now. It'll be fine. Check out this cool technique. Splatteries. I don't know why I did that. I definitely got cam or paint on my camera lens. On the back of it though, so I guess it's okay. Have fun, Janea, 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 little lady. I wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hey, remember me, Future Fox. Um, I'll remember you if you describe yourself. I might not remember your username by itself. I have a great memory for situations and conversations. I have a terrible memory for names. Uh, 
I love how I painted my name in the girliest colors there are. That's okay. Just trying to show my feminine side. That must have been uh, Future Fox. That must have been probably a month or two ago. Quite a while ago. I do remember that conversation. What am I spraying on? This is called Pelon. I think it's called Pelon. This might not actually be Pelon brand Pelon. These are screen printing test squares. Screen printers buy hundreds of these pre-cut into this 15 by 15 shape to test their screens for screen printing. Um, and they're really cheap. They're like 15, 20 cents or something. I buy them in packs of like 500 at a time. Um, it's slightly absorbent. So it's kind of like painting on a t-shirt, but not as absorbent as a t-shirt. And that means you can get nice crisp colors on top of them, especially like whites, like I'm about to do. The whites will lay on top of this material, unlike a t-shirt where it soaks it up. So it's really fun to paint on. Um, it's better than something like newsprint, which is great to practice on because it's white, first of all, and it's, it's stronger. Again, it's slightly absorbent, which means it's easier to paint on. It's just a good, really good material. Screen print test squares. They come in white and black, which is nice. Maybe I'll paint on a black one. Not right now. I forgot that I had black ones. Yeah, I got a bunch of black ones. That'll be a good, a good video. How was your time with Pat? It was great. I had lunch with him. Had a really excellent burger at this place in Disney Springs. And then I met him again when I was talking to the business people. And then we hung out again at the airbrush shop that I posted the Instagram story at. A lot of good conversations. Pat is the kind of guy and I gotta be careful because I know he's gonna watch this live stream if he's not in here right now. Uh, he'll talk your ear off, man. He'll keep on talking. And I love that about him because he has a plethora, that's probably not the right word, he has a, a wealth of knowledge to share and he has no reservation about sharing it with you and that's a really good quality to have in a person. So we, we talked for hours and it was really neat. Pat is an instrumental role in the cooperation with these other airbrush artists because they're all like his airbrush artists. He's a really good dude. You should always go to your brother's game, twins. Support is good. What kind of game was it? I know all about late night games, playing soccer in high school, man. It's like every night of your life was just spent out. I'm Indonesia, says Fakir. You are not Indonesia itself.
I don't like this white outline that I did at the bottom of the letters, but it's too late. Gotta keep it now. Making my way around the design with some white outlines. It's gonna be all right. Okay. Got my pillow on from Coast Airbrush. They have it too, but they sell it for about 19 times as much because Coast Airbrush sells everything way too expensive. But no, but no, I said it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. I'm gonna do one more. Somebody request a name, and I'm gonna grab a black piece of Pellon just for fun. I'll be right back. Ghost wins, that's cool. We're doing ghost. Oof. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <clears throat> See you later, Todd. Hope it didn't offend anybody. I am your fan. Thank you. With music. All right. What colors? Well, I'm gonna start with white because it's on a black thing. Um, I'm gonna do smaller letters this time instead of like everything reaching the edge. But they're still gonna be detailed. H is not good enough. You're awesome, Chubby Smurf. You're awesome.
I don't know, actually you might be really lame, I don't know you at all. But you're a nice guy. You got that going for you. I should have made the O and two a ghost. Yeah, it does look like a Pac-Man ghost. Yeah. Alright. This is black. All my paint is transparent, so I need to put on a white base for any of this to show up. But it doesn't necessarily have to be a solid white base. It can be a, a tinted type of base. And then the color will just be tinted on top. So I'm going to solidify some of these outlines. And fill in a little bit of the shading. And then I'm going to put another color on top of it. I'm going to use red because red layers really well on top of black. On the black itself, it'll be almost completely transparent, but it will grab onto this white really well. So they'll be able to see a big graduation, gradation, I don't know the word, between the light and dark red. I don't use a lot of red on my white shirts, not because it doesn't work well, it's just it's just not my favorite color. Um, but on black shirts, red is great. For some reason it just behaves really well. It layers well on top of dark colors. At least like the Createx bright red, typical red that I use does. I'm sure it has a physical, scientific meaning as well. It is on the end of the color spectrum of visible light. It kind of is the most outstanding color to our visual field of colors. I'm sure there's some science and math or whatever behind all that. That's why all the sale signs you see at stores are red. That's why exit signs are red. That's why stop signs are red. It stands out to you most in your visual spectrum. I made up that word, visual spectrum. Pac-Man goes, all right. Something's weird over here, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Actually, before I hit the red, I'm gonna do some black first. What kind of languages do you know? English. I took French in high school, um, and I remember very little of it. I'd probably be fine if like, I went to France understanding what everyone was saying getting my way around but I probably would not be able to speak to anybody the coolest thing I ever did with speaking French was at Kings Dominion when I worked there there was a, a couple of customers who were deaf and mute and only spoke French and I was able to take their order by writing it down and I felt I felt useful for a minute Hey, Cody.
according to my YouTube analytics, I guess I need to learn Indonesian. Indonesian it probably isn't a language. Probably don't sound really dumb for saying that. I don't know what language Indonesian people speak. Arabic? I don't know. That doesn't sound right either. I'm a dumb American, I'm sorry. We only learn English. And we use feet and pounds <laughs> and cups for measurement. Oh my goodness, why do we use the imperial system? I will teach my son the imperial uh, the metric system. That's my promise to you all. And that means I also have to learn the metric system, which I know it, but I'm not as familiar with it. <laughs> Sinkhole, the size of 11 and 12 washing machines. I like to get my eyes as wide as possible. I know they're goofy. Thank you guys, thank you Edgar for your compliments. I'm about to add this red onto the thing and it's gonna be neat and bum and sweet and cool and awesome. Um, at least that's the plan. I should put some black. Speak in Spanish. I don't know Spanish. No hablo español. Español. Je ne parle español. Je parle no. I don't even remember French. I can't conjugate the verbs properly. It's not my area of expertise. All right, here's that red. You can see that the dark areas stay dark, the light areas stay light. I got overspray all over the place and you can still see the black through the lines. Obviously it's tinting everything a little bit, but it's not overwhelming everything. And I've said it before, but it's been a little while. Uh, this is the difference between airbrushing and spray paint. Not all, but most spray paint is completely opaque. And not all, but most airbrush paint that I use is transparent. 
so I can do the outlines and stuff first and then I can fill everything in with the airbrush. If I did the same thing with most spray paint, it would just cover everything up and you wouldn't be able to see any of the lines that I did in the first place. It allows me to work in this order, which I prefer. Maybe I prefer it because that's how I've always done it, but that's the way I do it. Um, and it's one of the biggest changes I have to make when I'm using spray cans because I do have to do the fills first and then the outlines. I've been practicing by changing up the way I do these, but I prefer the other way first. And this looks a lot worse in the camera than it does in real life. It still looks really nice. IRL. If you know what I mean. ghost to you because we can't see us but you hear us what I don't know what you're talking about twins not a clue but I believe you some spray paint action like you talked in your early bed not yet um it's cold and dark outside and i can't spray in here because it make a big old mess so you read wrong i know i did you're a ghost to me because i can't see you do i ever restart if i mess up what makes you think i mess up who what, what are you new here i don't make mistakes Yes, um, I just I just start over when I make mistakes, when I mess up. Um, I have a whole pile of scrap shirts from me messing up and making mistakes. Um, usually, when I do make a mistake, usually it's because I spelled something wrong and it's kind of kind of done at that point. But if it's something like I fudged a line and it's in a weird spot, usually I can just fix it and I can I can make it better, make it work. Um, Unless something catastrophic happens, I don't usually make a mistake that ruins the shirt in one pass. Um, every now and then I'll just not be happy with the design enough to just redo it because I don't think the customer will be happy and I think they deserve better. But um, Being a commercial airbrush artist for a long time, you learn to fix your mistakes and make your customers happy. There's a lot of overspray on these stencils. Well, yeah, you're right. You said it's too cold. It doesn't stop you from painting. Um, well, I'm lazy, okay? I got big plans. I don't have anywhere to paint right now. Uh, there's no place around me to paint. I'd have to build something in my yard and all that, which I'm gonna do. I don't know, I'm working on it. I'm gonna do it, okay? Yeah, pretty much. This is a fun little one to do.
See, that one looks... None of this paint is fluorescent, so this is what this regular old light looks like. It got real dark for a second. Okay, um... Can you do some graffiti with the background of my name, please? I don't want to do any more. Um, how do you fix overspray? Uh, get better. Okay. Fixing overspray. Let's talk about overspray for a minute and then I'm going to get out of here. Isn't there any legal walls by me? No, there aren't. There's, um, I mean, not that I know of. The, the reality is I don't know any artists at all locally. No one. I don't I don't have any physical artist friends that, that paint things, um, especially not letters. Um, just, I'm, I'm not in that scene. I'm in Richmond, well not, I'm mean, in Mechanicsville, Virginia. It's a country folk town. No one does this. Um, overspray. If I was to grab this stencil and just spray it straight onto the shirt like this, And go all the way edge, I'm painting straight on everywhere. And when I move this away, you're gonna have overspray. You can see the rectangle of the thing. And I didn't even fill it in all the way. Like it's not even a good fill. Um, to fix that, the best way to fix overspray that I've found is to angle your airbrush into the design. Instead of painting straight on like this, on the left side, I'm going to angle my airbrush this way. Angle it up. Angle it the opposite way. And you can paint with less paint closer to the shirt just to get a sharper line. And you should have no overspray. Of course, I got a bunch of overspray because I was being goofy. Um, basically, overspray is, is if you spray it at an angle, you see the line where your, your paint starts, and then you got all this other paint that just sprays off. That's your overspray. That's just it's a bigger spray pattern. So you need to minimize your spray pattern by getting closer to the shirt, and you can control which direction the overspray is. In this case, you want the overspray to land inside your stencil instead of outside your stencil. So you don't get this line, you get more stencil. And, and doing that, you should be, you should be, that's easy, that's stuff. She asks, at the end of the day, do I just leave my paint in bottles? Or do I clean it up? I just leave them like this. Bye. And then the next day I come back and I go, okay, found the paint. And it's fine. Um, white and black paint are opaque so I have to shake them up a little bit and it's done that's the end of it Colin Jennings says a mean thing I'm not worried about that Pat Gaines hey Pat Dale it's 8 38 p.m. um yes correct before you go when you're going live next time I don't know that's the thing I never know if I did know I would let you know and I would schedule it days in advance and stuff um, it depends on what I'm doing that day and when my son naps and just when's a good time. Um, but doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to go inside and I'm going to play video games now. To be quite frank with you. Um, love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you had fun. I had some fun. And I will see you next time.